Keir Starmer uh, attacking the Prime Minister. If, first, he, he seemed to go, to go quite, quite heavily on the Casey report yesterday. He certainly uh, did. I think Rishi Sunak has got through PMQs pretty unscathed uh, today. No difficult questions on uh, Europe from backbenchers, though, of course, we've got this uh, debate and vote on the storm break, so that could all change. As you say, uh, Labour focused on crime. That party and that leader realise it's something that traditionally some would argue they've been weak on. And if they are to show that they are prepared, ready for governing, they need to sort of toughen up at their pitch to voters. That's why Akistan was very critical of the Conservatives' hands-off attitude uh, to policing, talked about their negligence over the last 30 years, but the Prime Minister uh, rebuffing that, in particular talking about the dysfunctional relationship, Louise Casey said, that there is between the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, Labour Mayor, of course, and uh, with the uh, Metropolitan Police. Now, even though crime was discussed, this wasn't really about Partygate, even though there was one sort of brief nod to that in a couple of the exchanges. The only criminal investigation he's ever been involved in is the one that found him guilty of breaking the law. <laughs> Mr Speaker, let me just address the, the issue the honourable gentleman raised, because I said at the time I respected the decision the police reached and I offered an unreserved apology. But for the avoidance of doubt, Mr Speaker, at the moment that that happened, there was a full investigation by a very senior civil servant. The findings of which, the findings of which confirmed that I had no advanced knowledge about what had been planned, having arrived early for a meeting. But he doesn't need, he doesn't need me to tell him that. He's probably spoken to the report's author much more frequently than I have. The Prime Minister, Jane, there, referring to Sue Gray, who a few weeks ago, Sky News revealed, has been recruited by Keir Starmer to be his new Chief of Staff. Certainly the strategy from um, the Labour Party seems to echo sort of New Labour's pitch. Of course, Tony Blair back in 93, so 30 years ago, talked about being uh, tough on crime, tough on the causes of a crime when he was Shadow Home Secretary, not uh, when he was leader of the opposition. Today, Rishi Sunak seemed to echo and repurpose that, saying that Labour are soft on crime and uh, soft on criminals. I'm sure this may be a battleground in the general election, but as I say, Rishi Sunak, I think, will be pleased that he's got through PMQs. The big challenge now is to persuade enough uh, Conservative MPs to back him. So that rebellion isn't so big that he doesn't have a, a Conservative... Uh, loses the Conservative sort of majority on the installment break. That vote this afternoon, we know it will pass. We know Parliament will back it, mm. but will a majority of Conservatives back it?